Hey everyone, with this video I want to share how I airbrushed the soot and exhaust details on some of my recent miniatures. You could still achieve similar results with the tried and true dry brush method, but I find this to have a bit more control and transparency. The materials I used are Badger Minotaur's Oil Discharge Ghost Tint, Vallejo Model Air Steel, and Vallejo's Airbrush Flow Improver. Here I have a melta gun already based with some Vallejo Model Air Steel. To get started, I put a few drops of oil discharge and airbrush along with some flow improver. This will help the ghost tint from drying too quickly in the airbrush and help it flow more smoothly. If you don't have a transparent style paint, a similar effect can be done with really thin down black paint. For the Minotaur ghost tint range, I usually run my compressor between 20 to 30 psi and focus on being gentle with the trigger, allowing more air than paint through. You want to build this up with a focus of more paint layered up closer to the tip of the gun. It'll look a bit shiny after you've applied it, but you can easily tone this back down with some matte varnish. Here's the finished look on the Melta gun. I added some fresh blood ghost tint to the black to give it a little bit more of an effect. A similar approach can be done on exhaust tips as well. Here I'm using a recently finished World Eater's Contemptor as an example. If you're new to airbrushing, feel free to mask off the areas you just painted so you don't ruin them. To get a feel for how these effects will look when done, here's a look at one of my Death Guard Leviathan Dreadnoughts. Not only did I use it on the exhaust and guns, but also on the panels on the top of the dread. If you found this tutorial useful, throw it a like. If you'd like to see more in the future, be sure to sub. Thanks for watching.